beautiful people welcome back to the overwhelmed woman I'm Emma I'm still overwhelmed and if you're stressed out your mind about money you're not on your own um, money worries and debt have followed me for the last 20 years for lots of different reasons and as a result my family already live really frugally which poses quite a challenge when we have to try and find money from thin air so this video is about some of the things that have helped me and been a real game changer in helping me get my financial ducks in order and then some of the other videos that I'm about to make will be about the horrible stuff like having to maybe approach um, creditors and arrange payment plans and the implications around that or even having to sell your house which is something that my husband and I had to do in 2019 but look that's all the deep stuff and um, whereas this is the more light-hearted and practical stuff you can put in place quite easily um, for me uh, the first thing whenever I'm trying to sort my money about out is I have to know where my money is being spent already so I've got a really anally retentive spreadsheet that lists all my direct debits every month I know pretty much to within £10 how much my regular weekly food shop will be and I'm able to use that information to see if I can identify any obvious areas of saving money so I've been really busy at the minute because I'm I'm working two jobs, I'm doing a degree, there's homeschooling, I'm kind of losing my mind a bit really. But um, we've ended up having a couple of takeaways and they used to be quite a rarity for us. So we've realised you only need one of those a month or whatever and maybe what that's another 20, 30 pounds, whatever. So um, we're cutting that out and um, I know that there's already ways I can save money. But the other thing is, is to have in mind the reasons why you want to save. So if your income's just been massively affected in the wake of COVID and you've really got to try and uh, pull something out of the bag or you are saving for an expense, say work on your car or you need your loft insulating or whatever. If you have that in mind, it just helps you focus when it comes to being really intentional about your spending. And I would add, this isn't about depriving yourself. It's about making... Um, just uh, better choices that will help you more in the short term and the long term. So two of the things that I do straight away is I invoke a spend freeze and a no buy policy. A spend freeze is exactly that. Um, I usually evoke a spend freeze for about a week because it means I don't spend a single penny at all on anything except the utility bills that leave my account by direct debit. So obviously because I'm not buying groceries either of course I've got to make sure that I have got bread, milk, fruit, veg, the perishable stuff in the fridge but then the rest of the meals I make up are stuff that I raid through raiding my freezer, looking at whatever's in lurking about in cupboards and whilst the meals aren't always uh, inventive or particularly tasty <laughs> whilst that might be the case it means that I save a ton of money on say frozen the frozen pizzas or pieces of fish or whatever I would otherwise buy as part of my normal weekly shop and I transfer that amount of money out of my bank account and transfer it into a separate savings account called the emergency fund and then I'll work out what I need to do with that at a later date. So that's the spend freeze. You try doing that once a month um, or once every now and again and blimey your money will start to stack up and it's also helpful if you're at the stage where you need to defrost your freezer so every cloud. Um, so the other thing is the no by policy and this is reliant on us all being really ruthlessly honest with what we will probably be spending our money on so for example in life before covid i was doing some uh, normal food shopping in asda and i saw a two pound scarf that i really loved it had been reduced to two pounds and i was going to buy it but if you've watched any of my other videos, a lot of my stress comes from living a very previously emotionally and physically cluttered life. And the house we've moved to is not very big, we don't have any storage. So if I bought the scarf, 
really to keep on top of things I'd need to get rid of something else so I thought you know what I won't buy it but what I did do is take the two pounds that I would have spent on it out of my purse and physically put it in a money tin. I applied that process the year before Covid and I saved a thousand pounds just on my no buy policy and that's from someone that already lives really frugally you know we really do um so it just shows how those pennies start to build up into pounds and that wasn't even including the money from the spend freeze that i've done so i'm going to get back on that because you know we have got to make lots of changes this year and my husband has not been well with his heart stuff again so we've no idea what's going to be happening with our income or our ability to earn or any of that stuff um and I guess the last thing I would say is, if you've ever watched she or He-Man, if you're a child of the 70s, <laughs> born in the 70s, growing up in the 80s, brilliant, um, there was always a moral, a little moral at the end of every, every episode. And I guess mine is this, and that is that I have spent many, many years feeling bitter. Uh, looking at the lives other people have that I perceive them to have and seeing family and friends go on holiday for their two weeks in Tenerife or whatever or have a new car or going on uh, you know going to theatres and all of that kind of stuff and I can't tell you how many times I've gone to a restaurant um but it sounds like a big social life but those times when I've been invited out for lunch or birthdays or whatever and I've pretended to not be re really be that hungry and have a bowl of soup and a starter because I couldn't really afford the main course or choose tap water because I was parched because I couldn't really afford a glass of wine or whatever and I've been bitter for a long time in the past and in recent years I've realised especially with the impact of Covid it just really reminds you what's important and now instead of feeling deprived I just feel empowered and I feel like the choices I'm making and the things that I am choosing to spend my money on or the things that I can't spend my money on and um, you know what I, I make I just feel that I've got more control over it rather than it all being out of control and being on that hamster wheel that you can't get off. And it's another reminder that we should never compare ourselves to anyone else other, uh, as well because none of us know what journey the person next to us is on, do they? So look, if you're overwhelmed, I promise you you're not alone. We're all overwhelmed together, just doing the best we can. So keep on keeping on. Please drop a like in this in this. Uh, video and share it and subscribe to it and poke me do whatever it is they do and until next time massive love and now I'm gonna go and get a cup of tea